Good morning, Walmart. Yes, a few people are asking me where I got this squirrel from. I got a Daytona Bike Week. Apparently, he said it's roadkill, so I don't know. 110 bucks. So here I am on YouTube now, and I'm um, responding to a few of your comments. But uh, what a lot of people don't know is when you subscribe to a channel, you click on that username, you go to their page, and then you hit subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, that little gear pops up. Click that gear, this window pops up. So when you click on send me all notifications for this channel, when that person uh, uploads a video, then you'll get that video in your email. It's a pretty cool feature that uh, very few people really use or know about. Battery's good. Uh-oh, running low on water. Instant coffee and a banana for breakfast. Okay, two bananas. And some turkey bacon. And eggs. And 12 grain bread. Well, I do not have any reservations for any campsite in Sturgis. So how do I find out where I'm gonna stay? I wanted to stay at Buffalo Chip because you're looking at this and you see tons and tons of events. So for example, this is uh, stuff that's going on on August 1st. Wet t-shirt contest, sexy dance routine bike wash. So I wanted to get that on video. But when you go on to their press pass and media uh, section on the website, they have a whole bunch of rules. You can't film at campsites, you can't film on stage, and just reserve the spot at the Broken Spoke Campground. Oh look, I have a neighbor. Somebody else pulled in, I guess, somewhere along the night. 10.55, I've been putzing around since about 6.30, 7 o'clock. So now I'm gonna go to Walmart and hopefully get a week's worth of supplies. And just to be considerate, I always take the cart. Since I'm gonna bring one out, I might as well bring one in. I'm back. Take my old people vitamins. Spray for ants. Go to the bathroom. Put the slides in. Shut everything off. Pick up trash, even though it ain't mine. Do a final walk around and check. Starting route to Sturgis. Head east on Adams Dairy Place. And get on the road. Turn left to merge onto I-70 West toward Kansas City. It's 11.30 and I just got on the road. According to this, I have 10 hours and 36 minutes to go. But pulling the trailer, I basically add an hour for every five that this thing shows. So I'll be staying at the Broken Spoke Campground. I know they got a water hookup, they got a 50 amp hookup. I guess they come around with a uh, truck to dump your RV. I left Sunday night. It is now Wednesday morning. I'm about ready to see some people here because I'm starting to get tired talking to myself. In three quarters of a mile, take exit 2G on the right onto US 71 North towards St. Joseph. Kansas City. Lost the ones you want to keep. What a waste of a good truck. Sturgis. All right, keep that thing to yourself over there. Sturgis, baby. I hear a blowout. He's still going. Wow. 
Welcome to Iowa. 85 miles to empty. There's a pilot in five miles. Let's press the information. And let's see what it says. Website. It even tells you the price of the fuel. And if you hit the button for RVs, they even have an RV dump. Fueled up, now I gotta go inside and get the receipt. to get back on the road again. Don't tell my wife I got pizza. Now that's a good one. Barbecue pulled pork. Only floss the ones you want to keep. So I've already reserved the campsite at the campground, Broken Spoke Campground, $899. So they have 600 acres. Okay, so it's $899 for the campsite, but then I have to buy a, a wristband. So I gotta get myself a wristband, that's $199. If you don't want water or 50 amp, then it's only $400. Originally, I wanted to camp at Buffalo Chip because it's like three miles from Sturgis Where Broken Spoke is 11 miles from Sturgis But Buffalo Chip just has too many restrictions no drone flying no videotaping No alcohol They search your car before you come in. I Didn't see any of those rules at the Broken Spoke campground. There is also a swimming pool at Broken Spoke. Buffalo Chip also had a section to apply for a media pass, which was uh, had to be done by June, and right now it's August. I didn't see anything at the Broken Spoke on their website that said anything about a media pass, or nothing that said you can't fly a drone, or nothing that says that you can't film at campsites. That's cool, so it says that they do have laundry, so maybe I'll make it all the way today, I don't know. Follow me to Sturgis. Oh, I don't like the meaning of that. I love steak and hamburgers, but I just don't like when I see that truck. Oh great, now that thing finally swung open. I gotta stop before I start dragging the car next to me. South Dakota. Where do I stop over here to fix that thing? 
All right, I'm gonna pull over here and uh, fix that thing. Always something, always something. Oh, and there goes the door swinging open. Great! And I was pointing that out yesterday that uh, something's gonna happen with that. And it was locked. So I guess the walls are moving while I'm driving and it caused the door to open. Let me put the dead bolt in. Okay, well maybe that'll hold. Oops, dropped my keys. Okay, see? That's what happens. As, the, as you're driving, the wind blows and it's just pulling us out. These things are made like crap. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, shit. Ah, there you go. Always, always something. I stopped right on time before I ripped off my awning. Well, let me back up. Back up and swing my butt away from it. Oh, I hear it. Damn it. Well, there's another scuff mark to add to the list of things but it was so close to my awning. Wow. All right, let's go. Six hours and 16 minutes, 449 miles left. It's been boring up until now. I added another scuff mark. So are you guys learning anything from this? Maybe like, don't hold the camera while you're driving and pay attention. Pizza, hot dogs, fireworks, and sex toys. Plenty of on the highways. Well, I'm on the road again. Apparently they have uh, free shuttle service between uh, Broken Spoke and uh, Easy Rider Saloon in downtown Sturgis. Look at that, they even have golf cart rental. I have my own. They have RV rentals for you guys that uh, aren't bringing your RV and want to fly in. Is that a massage place? When you guys see that truck, you better run. Look at that. That's putting resources to good use. In Florida, we just uh, cut it and blow it on a highway. Can you bring your golf cart or ATV? Absolutely. They even have a dirt track for four-wheel vehicles or dirt bikes. Awesome. Nudity is not allowed, but that said, we still get pretty wild. <laughs> 79 miles to empty, time to get some fuel. I'm gonna stop at this exit over here. I saw a bunch of signs. Sturgis. All right, do they have diesel here? No diesel and I'm definitely not fit through that drive-through. Looks like I'll be getting diesel across the street. There's diesel over there. And it's a lot easier to get into. So I just filled up and I also got me a little treasure. But when I stopped, there it goes again. I had to use the battery to jump my generator because
is again, it won't charge. So something's with the fuse of the charging system. I don't get it. Always something wrong. I don't know how far I'm gonna get this time, but uh, I'm about ready to get there. I'm getting tired. Let's do it. I don't wanna drive anymore. Almost forgot to disconnect that spare battery. And shut off this thing. Five hours, 38 minutes, 403 miles. It says I'll get there at 12, what time, 12.48? I'm over this already, I just wanna get there. Go get some fuel. Where's diesel? There it is. All right, so this is one of those, obviously, I will not be able to go forward there because I will definitely not make that turn. Got to back up and get out of here. Yeah, they're all over the front. All right, so this might be my last stop for fuel. And we have a few people over here. Who do we have here? Help me. Mike, Mike Shaw. How's it going? Where are you guys from? Rapid City, South Dakota. All right, so how long you been living around here? My whole, my whole life, 21 years. Tell me about Sturgis. Sturgis is a good time. Is it? It is a big party, a lot of a lot of bikes. Lots of entertainment. <laughs> Lots all of it what kind of entertainment? All kinds. Girls, all everything. Dad, it's Music. getting good. How many people? A million this people this year. To be about a million. The a million? Ever. Yeah. Wow, yeah, because I looked it up online. They said half a million, but yeah, but it's a 75th, yeah, so it's gonna cool. be good. Oh, yeah. So you guys are gonna be partying over there? Probably. Oh, yeah, we'll there. All right, I'll be at the Broken Spoke Campground. Stop by, say hi. Right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yep. Well, so the guy behind the counter in the store said that uh, there's a lot of people that come here from uh, from Florida. And they just closed up. Thank God I got my coffee. 3 hours and 19 minutes left, uh, 230 something miles. I'll probably end up having to stop one more time for fuel. And I always check to see if I have my credit card before I leave. Because there was once where, uh, thank you JT for letting me use your credit card while we were traveling. Because, uh, Dummy left his credit card at the gas station. So I'm watching this movie now. It's called Please Subscribe on Netflix. They said three billion hours a month people watch YouTube.
1.30 in the morning. Everybody's sleeping. Nobody's getting fuel. So everybody's sleeping right now. I still have one more hour to drive and it's about 1.45 in the morning. There's just nobody on the road. Take exit 32 onto Junction Avenue toward I-90 Business Loop and keep right toward Motorcycle Museum. In 1.4 miles, turn right onto Lazell Street. Welcome to Sturgis. One million people, huh? So this is Sturgis at 1.30 in the morning. Florida time, 2.30. A lot of tents over here, a lot of closed tents. So this must be one of the areas. Obviously there's a motorcycle dealership. But I'm surprised there's nobody around. Get this. This is where all the action's going to be. There's a street there. Looks like a lot of stuff. Turn on right here. Watch me get a ticket. A lot of stop signs. Right in the road. On your right, full throttle saloon. On your left, the beaver bar. Looks like there's a buffalo chip on the right side over there, but uh. The reason why I didn't stay there is because there just seemed to be too many restrictions. Turn left onto SD-79. Broken spoke. Amen. All right, 2,000 miles, I finally made it. So now what? And you need to check in, right? Well, yeah, how do I check in? Over there at the general store. So do I back up or can I pull up over there? Just pull right into the grass over here. Thank you. The fence. Thank you, sir. You so bet. the store's open? Huh? Store's open? Yeah. Thank you. All right, so he said find a place to park, do not plug in, and check in at 7 o'clock in the morning. So I guess since these are all the cabins and uh, the RVs are plugged in over here, I'm not going to stop here so I could use my generator and not bug anybody. Well, so I found an area over here that I can park. It's not going to bother anybody else. I am tired. I'm going to bed. 
It is three o'clock now, so uh, I gotta be in the office by seven. Thanks for watching.